Hi, Clayton. This is Kyler. My real estate question is, how do you um, solve the issue or the problem or the moratoriums of renters not paying you? Because that's what I'm uh, worried about if I invest in real estate. Um, are we going to go back to uh, like what happened a year ago? Thank you, Kyler. I think let me let me go 30,000 foot level with you. So it says you're, you're worried about getting started in real estate investing, but you're worried about this piece of it. OK, now this is one of those things. And I don't mean this to be insulting at all because we all go through it. I'm just much more of a uh, kind of shoot first, aim later kind of person. Right. Um, that's how I've always been. Uh, it's, it's, Hey, it's, uh, it suited me well as a Capricorn, you know, it's how I've been able to build multiple businesses and, and be able to build a massive portfolio and had success in my career is that I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to figure it out along the way. As long as I'm 80% sure of something, I jump in. So if you're like 80% there, 90% there, but this one question lingers for you, which is what if there's another pandemic and we go through another rent moratorium where they're going to, you know, stop rent for six months. What do I do? Well, one thing you can do is, first of all, to make sure you have renters insur or make sure you have the proper insurance in place so that if there is a non-paying tenant during a period of time, you can claim that on your insurance for non-paying tenants. So that I, I wouldn't worry about that. And look, I went through it. Um, I have a lot of properties in my portfolio. And we had in like two of our properties were affected by this rent issue and Bennett's was taken care of out of all of the properties, single family homes and duplexes that we own very minimal problems at all. And of course the programs that were in place also helped landlords. You just had to navigate it a little bit depending on your state, right? So if you as a landlord had a situation where your tenants couldn't pay rent, you as a landlord could file to get landlord protection. So again, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. You're always my, I guess my, my broader point here is Kyler is you're, you're always going to look for excuses. You know, we're all, we are trained to look for like the one little negative, right? It's like when you get a hundred emails from people and all of them are nice. And then you get like, I get it. You know, look, I get tons of emails, right? I get people that tell me my business all the time. Right. Um, and whatever YouTube video I do, I'll get comments, you know, like, you know, but I'll get a hundred comments that are really nice. And then I'll get one that's like, you know, it's all grammatically incorrect and it can't, the person can't spell, but they say something really mean, you know? And then that's the one thing we think about all day. Isn't that stupid? Right? A hundred people say nice things. One person says something mean, and then we dwell on the one mean thing. Right? Um, and that's just the way we are as humans. It's sad. I wish we didn't have to act like that and be like that, but that's the way it is. And so I would just say you're going to always look for the negative. You're always going to try to seek out what's the worst case scenario. What's the worst? My house is going to burn down. The tenant's going to, you know, set the house on fire. Well, you have insurance. <laughs> okay. That happens. You get a check to cover your insurance, the, 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 the replacement cost of the house. You know, there's a pandemic that happens again, you know, um, and we, what, whatever happens, uh, happens, right? And then there's going to be we've got certain protections in place. You'll have insurance that protects you. But, I, you know, don't sweat that stuff. I'd be more concerned about just getting your financial roadmap in place. Like, what are your financial goals? That should be your focus. Not worrying about the what ifs. What if there's a wildfire or a tornado or someone can't pay their rent? Don't, don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about that stuff, okay? Focus on yourself. Focus on your own path to financial freedom, and everything else will fall in line for you. I'd love to hear your questions, though. Um, and I like to try to be brutally honest with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Uh, I had people that refused to sugarcoat things with me when I was starting out in this journey to financial freedom, and I'm not going to do that with you. So I will be brutally honest here on certain situations and uh, telling you to focus on the things that matter. Book a call with us. You can go to morrisinvest.com if you're ready to take that real estate investing journey. We're happy to jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes for free and map out your financial freedom roadmap um, and then to, you know point you in the right direction. So just go to our website, morrisinvest.com, and you can click on the little voicemail button down there on the right-hand side of your screen too so you can leave us a 30-second voicemail. 
here on the show, and we will attempt to answer it next time. Now go out there, everyone. Take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.